everyone, it's Lorelai, and welcome back to another RPG Maker With tutorial. In this episode, we are going to be making our Crystal Caves Dungeon, complete with treasure chests and a hidden key to open up that last door to get to the final boss. So let's just get straight into it. I'm going to go to the map list, and just like we did for the village and the overworld map, we are going to make our own dungeon. I did go through the sample maps and I'm taking inspiration from the mine, the rock cave, and the cursed cave. Unfortunately, none of these really fit our story. We need a crystal cave. And so that's why we're going to be making it ourselves today. I do recommend making a sketch of your dungeon before you start making it in RPG Maker, just so the process is a little easier. You know where you're going, you know where you want your treasure chests to be, you know where you want the final gate to be, any puzzles that might be relevant. It's just a lot easier to work with a sketch. So we're going to be working with the sketch that I have here. So let's make a new map. We're going to call it Crystal Cave. And we're also going to show that as the display name. Under tile sets, we're going to choose dungeon this time. I'm going to make the width 35 and the height 40 and then change these tiles if I think that I need to. And under autoplay background music, I think I'm going to choose dungeon two. This is also the type of map that may be relevant to play a background sound. And I think for this cave, we'll play drips. And that gives it a sort of ambiance. There will be battles on this map, so let's set a battle background. Here you can set your floor and then your walls. So for our floor, I'm gonna go ahead and pick crystal because I feel like that's very relevant for our crystal cave. And then it does have matching crystal walls. So let's go with that. The rest of these we can leave as they are, although eventually we will need to go into encounters so we can have battles on this map. So let's press OK and start mapping. Let's zoom out all the way so we can see what exactly we're working with. Make sure we're on the map editor. And some people recommend starting with the walls. Other people recommend starting with the floors. I'm going to map out our dungeon with the walls first. And I really like this tile because it looks like it's made of crystals and it's very fitting for our crystal cave. So I'm just gonna go ahead and follow my sketch that I've already made. And I've already reached the bottom, so let's go ahead and edit this map to add more tiles to the bottom. I'm gonna change it to 60, knowing that I'm just going to slice off the rest of the bottom that we're not using when we're done. There you go, what do you think? I think it's good. Let's make it more of a opening there. Okay, now what I'm going to do is add the walls. And for this, I'm going to use the rectangle tool. And I like to make sure that the walls are two tiles long. Okay, I think I got all the walls. Next, I'm going to fill in the floor. And we could go with this crystal floor. I'm thinking that might be a little bit of an eyesore. That's a lot of purple and pink. So let's go with this gray floor instead. I'm going to flood fill. Looks good. And then we want the background to be black. So I'm going to pick this color here. Fill that in. And then fill that in. I'm just gonna have our floor expand a little bit here, just because there's room to do so, and then quickly fill in these walls again. And then same with up here. Okay, I think this looks good as the base for our dungeon. Before we decorate it and make it look really nice and pretty, I wanna go ahead and make it functional first. So my sketch shows that there are four chests in this dungeon. I wanna make sure that each of these chests has an upgrade for our characters that they will be expected to have when they fight the final boss. So I'm going to go to quick event creation here and go down to treasure. Let's see what image we wanna use for this treasure. Because it's a cave, let's go ahead and go with this reinforced treasure chest right here. And inside this one, let's drop a long sword for Kale. Now our second chest is up here. Let's pick the same type of treasure chest. And this time, how about we give Kale a bronze breastplate? Then we've got a chest down here. This one can be a magic wand 
for Lyra. And then there's one more chest all the way over here. And let's say that this one is a circlet, again for Lyra. You don't only have to use treasure chests when you're giving away items. Another way you could do it is to make a quick event. And this time, instead of going under the treasure chest, what you can do is go under flame and pick one of these sparkles, something like this. Say these sparkles give away, how about a potion? And then if you edit this event and go down to images, if you turn on step animation, this will animate through these three frames so that it will be a sparkling animation on the ground that they can interact with. So let's do that over here as well. And how about this time we drop an antidote? And you can add as many treasures as you want for this dungeon. I'm probably gonna go ahead and copy this antidote event, paste one over here, maybe one down here. Then I'll copy my potion event, paste one up here, and then another one down here. In the next video, we're going to add a simple puzzle element for this dungeon. If you liked this video, please consider liking and subscribing for more RPG Maker videos. I will see you in the next one.